Thanks for tuning in today. My name is Nolan Robin, and I'm going to introduce you to some wonderful uh, Valentine's Day wines that I think will work well for you and maybe your date. Maybe you're just going to have the wines by yourself. And either way, they're going to be fantastic. So I've chosen three wines. One is a rosé from Provence. And uh, spring's kind of around the corner here. So let's uh, give this one a taste. This is a Provence rosé. It has a little bit more texture and body. And I mean, you can see the color of it. It's a little bit more pronounced and darker than some of the Provence rosés that are just like so light and like that strawberry, like delicate kind of floral and just very light fruit flavor. And this has like a little bit more texture and depth to it. Delicious. Really well um, balanced wine beautiful acidity, nice fruit, and you get that like strawberry, raspberry, but it's not like annoyingly fruity at all, like some of the Provence Rosés can be. Great wine for Valentine's Day. And I picked uh, two wines from the Rhone region. I thought those were good choices because they're like very medium in body and uh, tannin and texture, and they have like nice fruit character, but they're not gonna be like pow in your face, Napa cabs. This is a uh, plan to do from Chateau Trigon. This is a, a Cote de Rhone Village wine. It is grown uh, in an area designated to be Village, which is coming from better plots of vineyard sites than if it was just a regular Cote de Rhone coming from the whole entire area. People are talking and saying that this is actually gonna be a new crew coming into the Rhone. So this wine might actually be upgraded to crew status within the Appalachian. Pretty delicious wine. Let's give it a little sniff. It's got beautiful fruit on it. Velvety smooth. You get like nice black fruit and red fruit kind of integrating nicely and they're kind of dancing. Uh, tannins are like real smooth, medium body. Really nice wine, really approachable. Yum, good stuff. Next, we have a Gigondas. This wine is from Gigondas and it is sort of centralized area right in the middle of the Southern Rhone. A uh, really great growing region. This wine, uh, similar to the last wine we tried, is made with Syrah and Grenache, but this one also has Moved, which gives it a little bit more body than this plan to do, which was a little bit smoother. So this wine is actually 2015. It has some nice bottle age on it, and that's gonna kind of level out the tannins in that Mouved that would be a little bit more structured. So let's go ahead and give this one a go. That is just so delicious. Beautiful, beautiful structure on the wine and it's just like these like kind of ruby and lavender notes on it. Also getting some like blackberry and you can see it's like turning darker. Just really nice quality wine. These are the wines that I'm recommending for you for Valentine's Day. I hope you have a lovely Valentine's Day. Go out there and drink some wine and enjoy. Cheers.